Welcome. We look here at 10 puzzles. They all have relations with algebra because they are all finite groups. The 15 puzzle is definitely the oldest one of the 10. It was for me also the first puzzle of this kind I've played with. So here we see we have to order the pieces and because not all permutations are possible, this is the alternating group with 15 uh, elements. Each position can be mapped into the situation where the empty field is at the very end. And then we cannot just do one of the transpositions is not possible. The Ruby Cube, definitely the most famous puzzle by far. It outpaced any other puzzle in the market very quickly. It's still played today. Found about hundred years after the 15 puzzles hit the market and it's still used in competitions. Mathematically it's product of red product. It's also uh, can be written as semi-direct products. Very uh, iconic puzzle. The floppy may be one of my favorite because it has only 192 positions but still it's a non-trivial non-abelian group and uh, so here is the group. It can be seen as a semi-direct product over the symmetric group with four elements or a rest product. The Lights Out game also uh, relatively old from the 90s. Uh, there were electronic games like this. It's usually a five times five board. I have uh, written a JavaScript program which is a nine three times three board, there are two to the nine possibilities here, and it's just a, a linear algebra problem to solve this puzzle. There are literally hundreds of variants of Rubik type puzzles, and uh, here are a couple of them. You see me playing here with uh, a skewed type, it's kind of like a Rubik type puzzle, and uh, you can essentially take any polyhedra and any division and build a, a puzzle. The pocket cube is historically interesting because it has been found even before Rubik, a couple of years before Rubik. It's also just a corner cube of the Rubik cube and uh, it also can be written naturally just as a semi-direct product over the symmetric group with eight elements, all the permutations of the cube, but then there are also turns and these are the fibers. Uh, there's, there are different variants of this cube. You see another one here, 1970. But it was magnetic at the first. The, this is uh, probably the most difficult one. It's a two times two times one puzzle. There are only six possibilities. You have a really hard time to solve it. <laughs> there's no way actually you can get, get it wrong. But it's interesting mathematically also because it's the dihedral group. It's the Galois group of the cubic equation or the symmetry group of the triangle. The Hungarian rings, the second oldest of the ten we have uh, seen, it's a permutation group by two generators and what happens is they are also different, the, the colors are, some of the beads have different, have the same color and so the group still has about 10 to the 20, you know, the order is still very large. We could also name each bead and then we would have S38. Finally, the gear shift, one of my favorite also because it is first of all abelian, it has a relation with the Chinese remainder theorem and uh, it's just product of Z5 to the 4, Z9 to the 4 and uh, it has uh, relations with the Chinese remainder theorem because you see when you turn when you want to uh, make one side right you have to apply the Chinese remainder theorem and uh, get the, yeah, then you have the, once you have this, you can put it together, etc., and build the whole. 40 cubed is a cube which you have to play in the computer. Here's the 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 case. I played it with that program, which is available, which you can find on the web. And uh, the group is very, very large. It's over the permutation group with 16 elements because there are 16 corners. And then uh, each cube has an alternating group A4. Then there is again one uh, not possible, so it's A4 to the 15. So this is also a rest product. We've also only looked at puzzles which are finite groups, but many groups are mazes within groups, like this one here. 
where you have uh, rotation groups of the individual pieces or translation rotation groups individual pieces and you have to get out you have to get out of the maze and here are others they are just i bought them just recently actually just for this uh, class they are puzzles which have hit the market recently they are very beautiful i like the right one especially where you can morph different polyhedra into each other and uh, so in this case there are two polyhedra which you can actually uh, you can make, make cubes or you can do still stellated romb uh, rhombic uh, uh, dodecahedra the middle one is quite tough to first of all open so it's a cube which you can open like a uh, pistachio and then uh, you can move, move, move it and deform it into various different forms and it's quite a challenge to put it together again uh, you need to uh, have a little bit of luck to uh, to get it. This is also not the group, but it's a it's within a, a large rotation translation group with constraints. It can be seen as a maze in a in a larger group. <coughs> so to the right, I manage finally to put it together again. So I have to put this uh, stellated uh, polyhedra inside the other one. It has to match. Here we go. And that's it. Okay, that's it for today.